Hello, everybody. My name is Marco. It's nice to meet you. And I start this talk about garbage collector with a very easy question for you. How many garbage collector we have in Java 12? And uh, during this talk, we are talking about hotspot. So if you are using Open J9 or Zulu, the answer is different. So we we'll say three garbage collectors. Please raise your hands. One, few. Seven garbage collectors, yeah, a bit more, so you know you have the correct answer. In Java 12, we have seven garbage collectors. Two are non-concurrent. We will look at all this during this presentation. Four are concurrent, and one is no ops. Uh, if you answer three, well, you were right, two, because only three are supported in production environment. Three are experimental, and one is deprecated since Java 9. We are talking about CMS, so if you are still using this garbage collector, it's time to switch. In Java 14, the code will be uh, eliminated from uh, uh, the JVM, and it won't work anymore. Why one, Java one garbage collector is not enough? It will be easier for us, uh, less complicated. Unfortunately, we have so many different applications. Every application is unique. And if you have a, a data center uh, mining bitcoins, or if you, are, you develop the Pac-Man uh, that we have here uh, with Raspberry, your requirements are completely different. We have two main categories of garbage collectors, the non-concurrent and the concurrent coll collectors. The non-concurrent, they are very rude. They don't care about your application. When your application uh, need as use is using too much heap, the collector come and say, I have to clean it. Stop. Uh, I don't care what you are doing. Uh, and your application is completely blocked. It's free, so it's stop the world, as they say in jargon. And this can last for seconds. And uh, for your user, it's not nice. The concurrent collectors are new collectors. They are more sophisticated. They are more gentle. They try to work with your application. They do most of the work uh, of their work uh, during when your application is running, but they have to slow down your application because they have co to coordinate this work. And for your user, it's, it's, it's better. Uh, well, what to choose? It depends on your needs. If you need a very high throughput, very high speed or low footprint, the non-concurrent are the best choice. And we have two non-concurrent collectors, parallel and serial. If you need low latency, so your application has to answer very quickly uh, and has to be scalable, the concurrent are the best choice. And we have three concurrent collectors, G1, Shenandoah, and Z. Now we look in a bit more in the details of the non-concurrent. Serial was introduced in Java in 1999, so it's 20 years old, parallel in 2002. And uh, the difference is Serial is working with only one thread. So if your application is using eight thread, is this is very uh, very easy algorithm, and uh, it will work uh, with only one thread. It's very lightweight, and so if you are developing Nano services and uh, micro devices is a good choice. I think Amazon uh, lam uh, Lambda use this garbage collector, for example. In general, if you have less than 100 megabytes, <laughs> is a good choice. Parallel uh, use more uh, thread to clean the memory, and uh, currently is a very good choice for batch job or big uh, data treatment. So when you have no interactivity but you need speed. Concurrent collectors, uh, we saw in supported in production is only one, is G1. This is a multipurpose collector. Uh, it tries to combine speed uh, of uh, operation per second with uh, scalability and, uh, and uh, good re response time, so interactivity. And uh, uh, currently is from Java 9 is the default garbage collector. We're still using Java 8. 
<laughs> yeah, many of you. Uh, so the question is why from Java 9 is the default collector better than parallel? Well, uh, no. The choice from the core developer of Java is to give a priority to the response time of your application and the priorize the high throughput. So when you will migrate from Java 8 to Java uh, 9, 11, or 12, and your application, your batch processes, for example, will be slower, uh, go to look in the garbage collector as change, uh, and your application can be affected by this change. And for information, this garbage collector improved a lot in the latest version of Java, in Java 8 and 9. Was not so, uh, as, as a lot of problems <coughs> and missing features. So if you can wait until Java 12, uh, is a good choice, in my opinion. We have two other garbage collectors. They are very similar in their purpose. They want to reduce the short, the pause time. So uh, basically, your application won't be affected by this pause time. And they want to be scalable until terabyte uh, of heap memory. Uh, the non-concurrent, they become slower when your heap memory is increasing. Unfortunately, these two collectors, they are experimental in uh, Java 12 and 13 too. So you can use them, but nobody will support in case of problem. So uh, another question is why we have two collectors, they have basically the same goals. The answer is in the first line. We have two different leadership. The, pro the two collectors are open source, but one is lead by Red Hat and the other lead by Oracle. For us, for our application, what is interesting is that Shenandoah is platform, in platform independent and work on 32 and 64 bit. Uh, Z is working only in Linux uh, at the moment for 64 bit. And I saw there is a request to support macOS because I see that there are many developers here that are using uh, macOS. Another very important information is that Shenandoah is supported in production if you are using a Red Hat build. So if you are, for example, using OpenShift, you can use Shenandoah in production. Red Hat will give you the support. And you can even use in Java 8 because from Java 12 to Java 8, they backported all the good things and uh, they do the maintenance for Java 82, so it's a good choice. This question is important if your application is running in the cloud and you're paying the usage of the heap uh, to this garbage collector give back the resource that you don't use to the OS. Parallel, that is uh, the default uh, garbage collector in Java 8, 9, uh, no, sorry. Uh, Serial and G1, they are very conservative, but they give back. I mean, they don't like to create or release memory with the OS because it's an expensive activity. Shenandoah uh, is very good in this activity and can release very quickly the, the unused heap uh, to the OS. So it's an excellent so choice if you are paying for the used resources in the cloud environment. We have another option, and we don't like the garbage collector. Uh, it's a uh, choice. Can we run without the garbage collector? Yeah. We have Epsilon. It uh, has been introduced in Java 11. The main goal of this uh, garbage collector is to uh, test your application without being disturbed by a garbage collector. Or you could use in production without any support if your uh, application is using generating only few objects, I will say, and uh, doesn't need uh, to the memory to be regularly cleaned. So we are at the end. I cannot read the first sentence. Uh, you have to remember that when you are talking about garbage collector, there is all the time a trade-off. There is not the perfect one. Uh, you have to test the different garbage collector with your application. Your application is unique. Don't read uh, on uh, Stack Overflow or the benchmark saying, oh, this is good, this is not good. Uh, please test yourself. Uh, yourself. Thank you very much. Uh, 
It's finished. <laughs>